Okay, hi Virgos, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thanks so much for supporting the channel. So we're going to go ahead and get a message from your ancestors and your angels. Now this is a general message, so it may not resonate with everyone. Just take what resonates for you Virgos and leave the rest. Anybody interested in a personal reading, my information is always down below. Thank you to those who do reach out for those and thank you to those who donate to the channel. And to those of you who do subscribe, it's very much appreciated. So I do hope that everybody is well, okay? So let's see what the energy is like today, Virgos. Spirit, what do we have today from our Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node and Venus? What is the message from their ancestors and their angels? What is the strongest energy here for Virgo? So let's get a card from Archangel Michael. Let's see what he may be trying to help you with at this time, okay? Now, at the bottom of the deck, you do have believe and trust. It says, before going to sleep tonight, say, Archangel Michael, please enter my dreams and replace fear with faith and trust. It says, let me be filled with strength, courage and confidence. Now, the card that is actually coming out, which it is coming out sideways, okay? Now, it says energy healing work. It says, thank you for sending healing energy to me and through me, for my own blessings and for those all around me. Thank you for connecting me to loving and high integrity healers and teachers of energy healing. So why is it coming out sideways? Because I don't know if it's an energy where, um, how do I kind of want to say this? Almost like spirit may be trying to present somebody with some sort of help in some way, shape or form, okay? And I don't know if someone here is believing it or they just kind of, like it says, I don't know if it's a lack of trust. I don't know if someone here has a lack of energy, right? So it could be saying to me that someone here maybe needs to rest, rejuvenate, or, or they need some sort of healing work. Now, it is a full moon tonight, okay? For those of you where maybe you do things like um, spiritual baths or... I don't know, whatever you do, right? But this is a good time to release is what I'm trying to say. Uh, if you guys do moon magic, I'm not talking negative, okay? I'm talking high vibrational moon magic. You could do that as well, right? So, you know, I am just feel like what I'm trying to get to is that, you know, maybe someone here could use this full moon energy to, I don't know, restore some healing or something. So give me a message for Virgo. What do we have here for Virgo? All right, give me a card for now and a card for going forward. What is the strongest energy here? You have romance at the bottom of the deck. What are we getting stuck? I don't know. Maybe this is in the near future. <laughs> they wanted to show me in the near future. So I don't know. It could be romance coming towards someone here. But you see, even with that card coming out sideways, if someone here, you know, it would make me want to say, are you ready for love? Are you in the right energy to receive and to give love? Can I get a message for Virgo? <laughs> no, you're not in the right energy. <laughs> you got the no card coming out. Okay. Yeah. All right, show me more. What's the message for Virgo? <laughs> it came out anyway. <laughs> you got to listen to your intuition at the bottom of the deck. Came out, romance, I don't know. Listen to your intuition in the near future. And look at that, improving health. Now, for someone here, especially with that abundance card behind it, I, it kind of makes me want to say here, for someone here, if you're trying to get pregnant and you're wondering why you can't, it's probably because you need to work on yourself. Be assertive, not the right time. Okay, show me more. What is this no card? Uh, 
I actually feel like I'm being called to read the no card um, because it's giving me this energy where I, I know there's two no cards in this deck. Okay, and I feel like one of them, even though it says no, it's almost like spirit saying to someone, hey, you may feel like something isn't going to go in your favor, but it actually does. But I'm not sure if it's this no or the other no. So let me just have a quick look. Let me find it. Okay, so it is on page number 55, okay? And 5-5 five, five obviously boils down to a 10, which does talk about endings and completions. Now, it says the response to your inquiry is a firm no. It says you needn't worry, though, as you will see why this was the perfect answer as time goes by. Okay, so let's see what it's talking about. Why is this no here for Virgo? Yeah, it's the second time I've seen the chariot. So I don't know if this is a nowhere spirit is saying to someone, hey, listen, it's time for you to move forward, okay? And I'm telling you, I just, yeah, I just saw the Empress as well. So I'm going back to what I was saying. If someone here is actively trying to maybe conceive, okay, it, I don't feel like it's a no, never. I feel like for someone here, it's a no, not right now. Not until you balance yourself out here. Um, yeah, show me more. We have the magician. <laughs> what is this for this no? What is, why is the magician here? Now the magician can also talk about manifesting, right? Show me more. You have the five of earth coming in the reverse. Now these cards in this deck hardly ever come out in the reverse, okay? Now for some of you, there may be something, like I said, that maybe you are trying to manifest here, but I don't know if finances is an issue. There could be some issues around the self-employment, um, someone's business. Show me more about this no. Why is this here for Virgo? What are we getting stuck on? Page of Water and Unity. Somebody trying to manifest a connection? What's this magician? A renewal, yeah. Now, again, this could be saying to me, hey, if someone here is maybe in two minds of whether they should reunite with someone or, you know, that energy of um, reconciliation, I don't know if Spirit is saying, listen, this isn't a good idea. Especially if someone is doing it for material reasons, okay? But show me more. Why is this no here for Virgo? I'm telling you, look where it's getting stuck on. You got the moon, the six of pentacles, the nine of pentacles. Okay, listen, this is not going to be. Uh, listen, I don't know if I have a cross watcher in here. If someone here is paying for some sort of spell work, okay, against a, a, a Virgo, nine of pentacles energy, I don't know if that's going to be a wise choice here, okay? Now, Virgos, if you know that you have maybe people that is in your energy or even around you that don't necessarily want the best for you, okay? They don't want to see you succeed or they don't want to see you move forward or they don't want to see you receive something. Uh, just, you know, it's very simple just to kind of like protect yourself around the moon cycles, okay? Now, again, where it's stopping is where it's stopping. If someone here is thinking about reconciling with somebody, especially if you didn't have such a good 
past or relationship or friendship with them before you know it's that energy of remembering why there was a separation number one not saying that people can't come back together right it depends on the history depends what you've been through depends what they put you through right depends on hey did you go through this journey to learn some sort of lesson from this person because where the cards are stopping is on release and it's not just stopping on release okay it's stopping on the Eight of Cups, which also talks about walking away from a situation, okay? Um, you've got the Wheel of Fortune where it says about, hey, for someone here, you may desire more. And that more that you're desiring may be waiting for you with this Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune talks about fate and destiny. It talks about it as a time for change, okay? And it's almost like spirit is saying, hey, it's either somebody goes with this shift. Because I don't know, you've got the five of wands here, which talks about conflict, drama and chaos. See, if you're in a situation where it, it can talk about competition, right? Or like I said, it can just talk about conflict with other people. This may be in a home. This may be in a marriage. It is time for somebody to move forward. Someone here must be seeing some sort of signs and synchronicities, especially signs and synchronicities like 444 or 88 or even like 99. I'm also seeing 55, okay? Because the 8 of fire, the 4 of wands with the 4 of cups, yeah, this may have to do with a relationship or partnership. And then you've got the chariot right behind it. And look what's right behind the chariot, the 9 of cups with the ace of wands. Someone needs to follow their heart, okay? Hmm. Or it could be some sort of energy here where someone feels some type of way for some of you if you are in a new relationship with that King of Cups and Ace of Wands. But I really feel like with the ancestor messages, Virgos, it, that energy, whether you're male or female, you know, go after your desires. There's something that someone is holding on to that is not. It's almost like I'm hearing it's not prosperous. Spirit, clarify this magician with the renewal. Someone also needs to release the fears of um, finances. The Six of Cups, past energy. This could also be, I don't know, if someone stays in a situation because of children with the Six of Cups energy. Clarify the Six of Cups. The Knight of Fire. Yeah. Uh, I feel like there's an energy of somebody else coming through real strong today, Virgos. And again, I don't know if this is some sort of warning that your ancestors and angels is giving you. And it could be for someone here to not return to the past. But for others of you, like I was saying, there's something that someone needs to let go of. They need to walk away from because it's not growing. It's like a stagnant energy and you're only stomping your own growth. What's the five of earth in the reverse with release? Five of Pentacles in reverse with the release. The Five of Cups. So I'm telling you, if someone has some sort of plan here, something here is not going to turn out the way you hoped. Mm -mm. The Five of Cups talks about an energy of somebody crying over some sort of spilt milk. Star at the bottom of the deck with the World card, Queen of Air. Someone's heartbroken about somebody who is, I, I don't know if they're online, okay, with the world card, queen of swords, the star card. Someone definitely could be in the public eye. This is an energy of fame. Someone could be a speaker or someone here is just very intelligent here. This is someone who is not afraid. Yeah, look how she's looking into that crystal board. Someone could be a psychic, a medium, a healer. <laughs> it 
Yeah, I don't know. I'm hearing a fortune teller. And I don't know if someone here is mad that this is someone who is seems to be kind of getting away. And there we go with this kind of moon magic energy again. Okay, so I don't know. Take the warning or don't. But a firm no. What is this romance energy? For my Virgos, what do I need to know? What's the message here? Yeah, look at that. Five of Cups. Landing on the Five of Cups. Ego. Someone in their ego and their pride. And this is also, again, I don't know if someone here wants to go towards someone, but it says a false sense of entrapment. It says being overly focused on material things. Five, five of Pentacles in the reverse. It's that energy of release, that fear. You have negative or fear-based thoughts. And this is a number 15 and it's making me kind of feel like, you know, someone here is holding themselves back from some sort of success. Or again, even though it's boiling down to a six and it's giving me the six of wands. Someone definitely could be wanting to approach somebody, like I said, who, who may be in the public eye somehow. <laughs> there we go. Thank you, Spirit. Look at the six of wands at the bottom of the deck. What's this ego energy with romance? The page of fire, the energy of communication. The page of fire talks about in this deck about, you know, being creative. Someone doesn't know what to say, how to say something. It's almost like I'm hearing, use your imagination. The page of fire is like a, a childlike energy, you know, it's fun. This card talks about just being your authentic self. It feels like someone's so kind of, I don't know if this is an energy of nervousness or, um, yeah, they're nervous. I don't know if you can hear the bird. <laughs> All right, show me more. What's this ego energy, spirit? What do my Virgos need to know? The queen of water landing on the six of cups. So it could have something to do, you know, again, I just feel like this is about someone's emotions. Maybe it has um, something to do with a water sign, Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio. But the Queen of Cups is usually someone who's very loving, very caring, right? Again, very intuitive, right? With those cards that we saw. Queen of Swords. What was it? Wheel of Fortune. No, what was it? Queen of Swords, the World card and something else. <laughs> um, but the Queen of Water is, um, yeah, someone who's loving, caring, nurturing, right this talks about in this card it talks about relationships develop to a new level it says trust your intuition it says care for yourself and others but again when i was saying at the very beginning here where i don't know if someone here has been getting some sort of advice right um but i don't know it's almost like yeah okay you know that sounds good but you know um i remember hearing someone say anything before the word but is bullshit so you already know, but I don't know why someone is putting the butt in here. Like I said, there could be other factors, other issues, right? But this does feel like, I almost want to say love. <laughs> almost want to say love. You got the Knight of Fire and then you got the Ten of Cups. Someone has a, a, almost like a burning desire for another person. Show me more. What's the page of fire? What do my Virgos need to know? You have a queen of fire now coming out. Okay. Now this could also be saying to me here, Virgos, that maybe some of you have a choice. Or maybe this is qualities that you hold right maybe you are the queen of cups and the queen of fire as well right maybe you just have that balance about you even though you're very loving and very caring you're still very confident and motivated 
You ain't afraid to take action. This is an energy of not underestimating yourself. This is someone who is independent, creative. Give me a card for the ego and this queen of water. The seven of fire. Seven of fire talks about someone who very much, you know, probably has their defenses up, right? Seven of fire to me can also talk about protection. It says defend your beliefs and decisions. It says stand your ground. It says choose your battles wisely. So I don't know if this is someone who wants to reach out to you Virgos where maybe you've had some sort of conflict with them or maybe this is someone who judged you um, wrongly is what I'm hearing. But the seven of fire. Someone may want to also come towards you and tell you some sort of truth, like almost like them defending themselves. But what is this seven of fire? Give me one more. You have the page of water and the king of earth. So this could be an apology with this page of water energy, right? Again, this energy of somebody being very intuitive here. I don't know if someone here, going back to this energy over here, right, and it could be in the past, but I don't know if someone here um, tried to attack you in some way, shape or form with this energy of choose your battles wisely. But this could just also be where this is someone who is realizing, damn, do you know what? It actually would have been good to have Virgo on my team, right? Whether it's as a friend, like I said, whether this is a family member, whether this is in a workplace situation, whether this is someone who had a chance to partner up with you and maybe collab and, you know, now they're kind of thinking, damn, have I missed that opportunity? But the seven of fire is also an energy where Virgos, if you have started some sort of new chapter in your life, maybe you are standing your ground on that, right? Or maybe you should, like I said, something here is a firm no. Could go in different directions with that. And I'm sure it is going in different directions because it's not just one person watching this. What is the page of fire and the queen of fire? What's the page of fire with the queen of fire? Uh, okay, <laughs> I don't know. If some of you are dealing with another earth sign, but king of earth is just came back out. <laughs> what is this king of fire? Hmm. Yeah, something here was an unwise choice, but what is this king of fire? Because I just saw the four of pentacles, okay? And the four of pentacles, again, can talk about someone who... Maybe is experiencing some sort of change in their finances and it feels like a decrease. Okay. But what is this king of fire? The seven of water. What about the seven of water? So someone here definitely has some sort of complex decision to make. What is this king of... Am I saying the king of fire? I think I was saying the king of fire. Maybe uh, there's a king of fire, Aries Leo Sagittarius, who's struggling financially. I meant the king of earth. I don't know what the hell I said. Maybe this person's energy. Like I said, someone here is confused. What's the seven of cups? The four of cups. With the ace of fire. Someone's going to miss some sort of opportunity here. Or they have. Four of cups. Yeah, look at that, the two of cups. A lot of water, a lot of emotions running around, but I feel like a lot of these emotions are kind of um, being suppressed. The Emperor, Three of Pentacles, the Hermit, Page of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, the Moon, the Sun, and what's turned around. 
the ten of earth I, I almost wanted to say someone here may need to turn their back on their family again not going to be for everyone and it would be for a specific reason here it has something to do it looks like it has something to do with finances six of pentacles and nine of pentacles page of pentacles the hermit three of pentacles with the emperor i don't know if someone here is working with an aries or a taurus i don't know if this is an energy of um someone's like i said is stuck in their head because something here may have to do with children but three of pentacles is an energy of you know collaboration yeah awakening show me more about that king of pentacles Five of fire, conflict, drama, chaos. What's the five of um, fire? The four of air. Four of air talks about laying something to rest here. It's also an energy of um, allowing more time before you make a decision. All right, one more. I, I'm telling you, it, there's an energy here where I don't know if someone has some sort of plans to make something difficult for somebody. I mean, okay. What's the five of wands and the four of air? One more. And then we're going to move on. The night of fire. I kind of almost want to say if... <laughs> There's something here that feels like if someone takes some sort of negative action towards someone, there's some sort of a, a quick turnaround. Or somebody wants somebody to do something real quickly. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know if someone here is dealing with a fire sign, night of fire. This is, a, look at that. I don't know if someone's dealing with a fire sign. King of fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, energy. Just one more. What's the Knight of Fire and the King of Fire? Now, I am also getting another message from these cards, but let me just see what the last card is. The Five of Air, Unwise Choice. <laughs> I just heard dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> and I just heard for the love of money. Now, like I said, something here it is, it, 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 man, I'm not going to keep repeating myself. Do what you got to do, <laughs> okay, because I don't know if this is you or like I said, or if this is a warning for you to protect yourself, okay? But, um, yeah, I just heard only fools rush in because the five of air in this deck, it talks about reviewing everyone's motives. Now, let me move on because <clears throat> now I was going to say now for some of you, like I said, right, this could be something that was in the past. Um, But it, it still would say to me, even if someone did something to you in the past, it looks like now they're kind of kind of contemplating because they want to kind of return. Um. Mm. yeah someone may need to stand up to someone in a relationship someone could be dealing with someone who's making it very difficult for them because like i said someone here may want to start something new with somebody else but uh let's move on what else do we have for virgo what else do they need to know thank you spirit if you are you know if you are stuck in a place where you have maybe a choice to make you know think about where you feel more at ease, at peace, where you feel more balanced, you know, that kind of energy. What else does Virgo need to know, spirit? So you have coming out. It says power of prayer. Yeah, it says, give the situation to God for uplifting and healing. It says, be open to miracles. It says, heaven's unlimited resources, love 
and answers are awaiting your prayers. It says, be sure to act upon the divine guidance God gives to you in response to your prayers. You also have, you've got a lot, almost all of them coming out sideways. It says, organize for success. It says, do not let the word organize intimidate you. It says, as it is simply a way for you to ensure clarity of purpose. It says, organizing your thoughts, your reports, your living and workspace and finances will help you know and plan your next action steps. So this is what I was saying about getting organized, right? Being in alignment here so that your blessings can come through a lot quicker. It's like a lot of people are saying, hey, please, you know, God, you know, do this for me. Or can I have that? Or can this? Or get me out of this? But then, you know, what are, what actions are you actually taking towards what it is that you're asking for? Like I was the example at the beginning, right? Someone here is really wanting to have a child, but you know that you're not eating well, or you're not drinking water, or you're not this and you're not active, you know. How do you feel like that's just going to happen like that? I mean, and for someone it will, but is it, will it be a healthy situation? You have let go of guilt. It says, when you allow your light to shine brightly, you inspire others. Forgive yourself for what you think you've done or not done. And trust that God loves you unconditionally for who you are. It says, learn and grow from past mistakes instead of bearing them. Instead of bearing, I don't know what that says. Instead of, I guess it's the energy of instead of kind of beating yourself up, right? I don't know what that bearing whatever that says so you have positive faith and optimism some of you may find that you have a real special bond with animals but it says be open i mean it says you open the doorway to positive experiences and opportunities with your positive expectations and energy it says do not allow negative energy or temporary setbacks to interfere with the path that you are on. It says keep the faith and keep going. Partnership also coming out sideways. <laughs> so um, it says allow helpful, supportive partnerships into your personal life and career and both parties benefit as a result. It says you are receiving help from heaven and from a person who brings needed skills and resources. So this is going back to that Queen of Swords energy, um, the world card, you know, somebody getting some sort of help or information or guidance. What else do you have for my Virgos? What is that trying to, I'm telling you, it tried to come out, energy work. What do we have for Virgo? And I just saw three, three, and it was four, three. So again, you know, signs of synchronicity is three, three, three. New partner at the bottom of the deck. But what is the energy here? What do Virgos need to know, spirit? So it's sticking out, so I'm going to take it. Take it as a sign. <laughs> new partner. So it says new partner. It says a chance meeting is no mistake. It is divinely orchestrated as a catalyst to set the wheels in motion for the fruition of your prayers. It says pay careful attention to new people we send into your life. It says you will recognize them by a sense of familiarity. It says comfort and safety. So nothing happens by chance, right? Someone could be wondering, why did I meet this person? What is the purpose of this? Why am I so drawn to them? Why can I not forget about them? You have asked. <laughs> it says, ask us to help you in this situation and we will immediately go to work on your behalf. It says, we're governed by many universal laws and among them is the free will that allows you to make your own choices and decisions. So we patiently await your request. Yeah. Someone here, you have free will, you know. 
So it's that energy. I mean, I don't want to keep rubbing it in, but if you miss an opportunity and you know it's because, you know, you procrastinated or you couldn't make a choice, then, you know, just be happy with the outcome, okay? Be happy with what you choose. Or be happy with how things plan out because you didn't choose. I don't know. <laughs> you have a blessing in disguise. It says, what appears to be a problem is actually part of your answered prayer. It says, you'll understand the reasons behind your present situation as everything resolves. It says, trust in heaven's protection and infinite wisdom. It says, to answer your prayer in the best way. So it's almost like that energy where spirit is saying, hey, listen, we know what's best for you. We can see ahead, right? Like it says, it's been um, divinely orchestrated. But you're still going to kind of um, bump into these situations where spirit's going to test you. Oh, let's see what Virgo does when we put them in this position. Let's see if they know that they're meant to be going in this direction. Let's see if they're going to pay attention to the signs and synchronicities. Let's see if they're going to listen to their gut feeling. What else does Virgo need to know? What else do we have for Virgo? Thank you, Spirit. You do have connect with nature at the bottom of the deck. So maybe someone needs to spend some sort of time outdoors. You Again, you have do some research. And you have easy does it, okay? So again, easy on yourself, someone here. Part in the deck at New Career. And then you've got the power. Now your first card coming out, it says autumn. It says in the fall season, it says everything comes together and you reap wonderful harvests of abundance. Nice. You have debts paid off right behind it. It says the old weight of habit and debt is lifted from you and your life. So there could be something happening in the autumn here, right? This could be like some sort of a windfall of money or maybe, you know, your finances just increase somehow. Um, but it's almost like, especially with ask, okay, and it's landing on this little prayer card with the finances. So, you know, um, you if you feel like you need some sort of a help when it comes to your financial situation, send those prayers up. You have walk away as well, landing on the six of cups. I'm telling you, there's a Virgo in here. There's something that you need to leave in the past. Or maybe you have walked away from it and maybe you need to leave it there, right? But um, I, I don't know. I still don't like this energy of the magician sitting with the renewal, okay? I don't know if this is like some sort of a love spell. You have walk away. It says leave the unhealthy situation and enjoy the new doors that open as a result. Blessing in disguise. There's something else waiting for you just because you can't see it. You know, I mean, when you have faith, you shouldn't be in an energy where you need validation, especially not from the most high. How do you want to end this reading for Virgo? Thank you, Spirit. No, I just heard on a high. <laughs> what does that mean? How do you want to end this reading? The Virgo. Give me two cards. On a high, the star, the moon. One more. An abundance. <laughs> So the moon says, pay attention to your intuition at this time and move forward confidently. Ooh, lovers, I'm telling you, some of you just have something about love. Someone could have Leo in their chart here. We've got that queen of wands out here. 
but that's also especially with the um lion and then you got the goals right behind it okay for some of you this is also about being confident about the choices that you make um being confident about your goals right um and it's that energy where what does it say stretch your wings and fly don't underestimate yourself self it says assert your independence and creativity go after those goals virgos take the first step to do something that you've always wanted to do that your mind has been niggling at you to do start that virgo do that virgo virgo you can do that but the first card it says hard times are over it says look forward to an abundance of happiness enthusiasm and positivity and what pops out right behind it abundance it says lucky times are ahead of you it says along with good news success and prosperity i really see someone here in the public eye okay i really see someone um i don't necessarily because i don't know who i'm talking to i don't necessarily want to say hey you're gonna be famous you're gonna be a millionaire not necessarily but I do see success. I do see stability. I do see fulfillment. Joy. Happiness. Yeah. People cheering you on. People loving what you do. Soul tribe. But Virgos, that is what I have for you. I do hope that something has resonated with you. If it has, I do ask that you hit the thumbs up for me. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you know when i upload but virgos if this is where we part guys stay safe love and light virgo